These little kids over there playing. It's so cute. They're little kids. I think there's like a, a preschool or a daycare or something. They're so adorable. They're just playing in the streets. It's so cute. Oh, one just fell down. Nope. Okay, nope. He's back up. Morning! It's Friday. It's Friday. And um, I have to leave out of the house in just a little bit to meet my husband for lunch. We're going to have curry of the Indian variety. Um, I'm not a big fan. Uh, so last one of my other vlogs, I had ate curry before, and I'm just like, Ugh. But I think I'm just going to go to eat the shrimp <laughs> that's inside the curry. So, yeah. Um, that's what I got to do today. Just go and... Um, have lunch and then after lunch I have to actually go pick up some concert tickets because uh, Frankie J is going to be performing like literally down the street from my house and uh, he's gonna be performing on Saturday tomorrow and um, I entered into a contest a drawing uh, with Okinawa Nightlife and uh, I never really win anything, so I wasn't really thinking that I was going to win, but I actually won some tickets, and I'm hoping that Marlon will go with me to the concert, even though um, I know the big reason why he doesn't want to go is because he can't drink, because it's an off-base concert, so um, I know that's one of the biggest reasons, and I, can, I understand that. I'm probably going to go to lunch, um, and then go pick up the tickets, and then I have to go meet my student for a lesson at three. That's what's to, that's what's on today's agenda. Uh, so finished with lunch like an hour ago. It's one o'clock now, and I had to go pick up um, the mail. So I got that box, and then that, and then a box back there. Um, now I'm going to pick up the. Uh, tickets for tomorrow night but it took I was driving around for like half an hour trying to find the place because I saw a map on their Facebook and I was like okay it looks kind of easy but literally like all the buildings here in Japan look exactly the same or some of them don't even have names on it or if they do have names it's written in you know uh, hiragana or <sighs> so I finally found it and then when I found it, there's like on the map, on the on the Facebook page, there's like a little star that says parking. And I literally drove around the building like 17 times and there was no parking. So right now I'm in the parking lot of the uh, Sane right here. And I'm just gonna walk cause it's, it's just across the street. It's like a little five minute walk. And I don't know if I would just wanna go home and then just kind of like chill out until I have to start driving again through Ginawan, which is like crazy in the afternoon, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see after I get these tickets what's going to happen. So I went to the place and they actually didn't have the tickets yet. So uh, the lady told me that they don't know when they'll have the tickets available, but she apologized that, you know, I, I went all this way and went to go pick them up and they weren't there. She said that she'll call me and let me know what's going on when they can have it available. Of course, they're closed tomorrow, which is when the concert is, but she said that I can actually go up to the club and they'll have everything, like all the accommodations and everything uh, waiting for me, I guess. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, and I asked her about uh, the building because um, I don't know if I mentioned it but my husband went and they said no Americans were allowed in the building and this was before the curfew and everything so I can understand after the curfew they didn't want we wouldn't want any Americans in there but this was before the curfew and so I asked her if that was gonna be a problem and she said that she's never heard of anything like that so uh, I guess we'll see tomorrow when we go what happens so but I went inside and I went to uh, Matsumo 
Kiyoshi, Matsumo Kiyoshi, which is like the drugstore. Um, this is a small sane, so it doesn't have any clothes in there. It's just had a Baskin Robbins, a Chinese restaurant, um, a Toyota dealership is in here, and um, the grocery store and the drugstore. So uh, I didn't find any shirts, obviously, because they don't have any shirts. But I bought like so many uh, face masks. I bought so many face masks, so I did that at least. Um, now I'm about to go home home and these are some of the uh, magazines catalog that they gave me when I went to Okinawa Index right here they gave me first edition with this is the dojo bar uh, we haven't been there yet hopefully when curfew lets up we can go and this one uh, this guy with a snake <laughs> <laughs> um, Island Life. This you can buy on base, and I think it's like five dollars, but they just gave it to me. And then Island Guide. Uh, it's a little old, <laughs> last year's edition, but this is like ten dollars. You can buy that on base also. Um, and they have another publication, but uh, the lady said this one's too expensive. Sorry, we can't give away. <laughs> so that was cute. But she said, please go to BX or. Uh, shopping and and buy it <laughs> so that was cute uh, but I'm home now and I think I'm gonna chill out for maybe like 20 minutes or so and then leave so I guess that's enough time for me to try and uh, charge this battery up or something I don't know <laughs> but yeah hey guys so I got a phone call about an hour ago um, from Okinawa Nightlife saying that my tickets are ready and they close like they close the customer service at like 6 and that's when they called me um, so I was a little confused if I should go pick them up if I had to pick them up today but I have to um, so but they said that their office is open until 9 and it's about 7.15 right now It'll take me about 15 minutes to get there, depending on the traffic on 58. Um, actually, you know what? I should I should go down 23. Damn, I should have gone the other way. It's okay. So I just picked up my tickets. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but my tickets. Um, I'm like in Chitan. You can see there's um, Bimbo Heat. Bimbo, she. <laughs> um, that's a Yakiniku place. It's pretty good. And then there's a Chinese restaurant right there. Um, I'm just waiting at the light right now. Everybody's starting. I'm not gonna be able to get in. I might have to go through Kadena. It's like got home, obviously. Tell him home. <laughs> um, I was listening to the radio, um, AP radio. And they were talking about the bombing, not the suspects in the bombing. It's just, it's so sad that, you know, this is happening, you know, and, and they just released that these guys are from Russia, Chechnya, actually, to be exact. Um, it doesn't make sense, but, you know, the world is crazy and doesn't make sense. But anyways... Um, I just got home because I went to go pick up my tickets to go see Frankie J in concert tomorrow, so I have two tickets to go tomorrow. Um, I don't think there's anything special about them, I think they're just two tickets, and they have right there, like, where it's being held at, so at the Soto Peppa. Soto and Peppa Club. Salt and Pepper Club. Um, yeah. So, I got my tickets. Hopefully I can still talk more than to go tomorrow. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, it's not late or anything, but my hair is wild. And I need to go wash it. And then I'll probably stay up for a little bit watching 
the rest of the season of Amazing Race because that's what I've been, I've been watching Amazing Race like all the, the past seasons like I'm watching the Amazing Race like I'm about to go on to the Amazing Race like I'm doing my research but you guys all know how much I would love to go on the Amazing Race but mm, I don't want to go without my husband because I think he would enjoy it a lot more than I would um, but I've been like he's been watching some of the episodes with me and I think he's warming up to the idea but if he can accumulate enough vacation days <laughs> maybe it can happen mm -hmm. I don't know but uh, I will see you all hopefully tomorrow um, maybe I'll take you on uh, the concert to the concert or whatever. Maybe I'll take you to the concert. And we'll see what's up. Okay. Good night.